Hey there guys, this video we're going to be talking about the continue keyword. I definitely recommend you check out the break keyword. So the break keyword is going to essentially, once you hit this break, it's going to exit whatever loop it's in immediately. The continue is a little bit different in that the loop doesn't get exited, but that iteration does. So it's just going to ignore everything after the keyword for that iteration, and then it'll uh, go to the next one. So let's just see a simple example of this. Let's use a while loop and we're just gonna say, let's just create a while loop from zero to 10, for example. So while i is less than 10, let's do something. And then we need to increment i. So now we have the, the basics of a loop. And what we could do is for a particular case, we can treat it a little bit differently so we can really see the power of the continue statement. So let's say if x, or not x, if i is equal to, let's say seven, we're going to do something a little bit differently. Otherwise, we're going to do something else here. So you could use an else statement, but let's just not do that for the sake of this video. Let's use the continue. So we're gonna treat a little seven a little uh, specially. So we're gonna say seven is awesome. Otherwise, we're just going to just print the number. And we could do that using the, the uh, value of i, like so. Okay, let's put some space there. Let's try this. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is awesome. <laughs> seven, eight, nine. So it says seven twice because it hits this and then it goes down here and hits the rest of this code. So if you wanted to basically say in the case that we're here, and this value eats to true, then I don't want the rest of this code to be executed. Rather than putting everything else in an else statement and having an if else, we could just put the continue keyword. There is one gotcha though, because the increment the incrementation is going on down here. So this will create an infinite loop because it's, once we hit seven, it's gonna continue and seven, or I never got incremented again, so it's forever going to be seven. So we need to make sure we have that increment here as well. So now it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is awesome, 8, 9. So that is how you use the continue statement. It's uh, just another tool in your toolbox. It goes goes with uh, break very commonly, so make sure you understand both of them. And thank you guys, hopefully that was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe, it really means a lot to me. And definitely need all the help I can get. <laughs> okay, thank you guys, see ya.